I think. Oh, he has a grenade launcher as well. Are you serious? Ow. Okay. Yes. Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Band of Defenders. Now you may be seeing a green guy on the screen right there and his name is Green Go who I actually voiced in this game and if you'd like to check out the game there is a link in the description. Anyway we are going to be playing a little bit of Band of Defenders and before we actually get into that I just want to say that this game has loot boxes but they are all earnable through normal gameplay. So you just play a match and then you get some loot boxes and then they're all filled with cosmetics and things like that. As you can see, I actually have two rewards on the side of the screen right here. And it might be a nice idea for us to take a look at what I've gotten. So this is an arsenal crate and this, and this contains arsenal weapons. In other words, just weapons. So what do we have? Oh, a Tesla gate. Oh, very nice. So basically this is a tower defense FPS in the vein of Sanctum 2, that's one of the most recent ones that come to mind for me. And uh, yeah, as you can see, only members of the Band of the Defenders can pass through this gate. Very useful for moving between otherwise sealed defensive lines. And then we have a loot crate here, which will contain items for visual customization. And there's all the chances. Hopefully I'm going to be lucky and maybe get an epic. Let's see if I'm lucky or not. No, I'm not lucky, but it's actually one of the well, shall we say more uncommon ones in my opinion, a black sleep mask. So yeah, you can equip all of your characters with different things. So yeah, if we go into the customized menu here, you can actually just take a quick look and see that each character, this is the character that I voiced a little bit of, and then we have Bruce here, and then we also have Isabel. And as you can see, they all have unique skins to them. And these are all cosmetic, obviously, that you will get in a loot box. And uh, then they, of, of course, have a bunch of hats. If you are into Team Fortress 2, then, uh, well, this is for you, I suppose. Otherwise, you do have some facial kind of cosmetics that you can equip here. There's a whole bunch of, there's a, just a massive variety of different things. You can equip leather armor, steel armor, feather armor, all kinds of armor. And uh, then we have different melee weapons as well, because you can actually use melee in the game too. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be playing as Bruce, I think. Or should I play as myself? Oh well, ki kind of. Let's, let's play as Green Go then. And we're going to equip him with a peace helmet, because that's irony for you. And we're going to give him some sunglasses. Yes and some leather armor, and we're gonna use the green venom knife. There we go. All right, otherwise you do have the arsenal here. There are, of course, barricades that you can use to, uh, well, kind of stem the flow of the enemies from coming toward you. You also have special kinds of things here, workbench table, gun nest, healing table, ammo table, and so on. And then you have some turrets here, burst turret, Tesla turret, they all have different uses, of course. Then you have perks. I haven't unlocked these yet. You do need to get to a... I think... Uh, I, I don't know how you unlock those, actually. Anyway, expired medical kit. You can, of course, use a, medic a medical kit if you so desire. And then you have frag grenades, landmines, standard sort of pistols, SMG, etc. But then you get to... You get down here, and then you get some pretty cool stuff. In other words, laser rifles, boom sticks, grenade launchers, and so forth. So, you can play this co-op as well, by the way. I'm going to be playing this solo for now. And we're going to go for a private game. I'm going to be playing on easy, because as far as I'm aware, the medium difficulty is a little bit difficult for solo play at the moment. But what I found that actually easy was pretty difficult for me. So, let's see how we do. All right, so we've been loaded into the map, and you can see that we start with this wonderful pistol with a bunch of ammo, and we do have a lot of currency. So every single wave, you're going to be awarded some currency, and you can spend that on whatever you want. So you can go into your 
well, your build menu, basically, you can go in here and you can craft things. So if I want to craft this SMG, can't craft that right now, but if I want to, I can just press on this little craft button right here. There are only nine enemies coming in, so this is going to be pretty easy for us to deal with. Headshots do count, so it's probably best to try and do that, although we do have a huge amount of ammo anyway, so it's not really necessary for us to really worry about it too much. But if you are really a stickler for that kind of thing, then you can aim for headshots. And there you go. All right, so that was easy enough. And what I'm going to do right away is I'm actually going to get my SMG. I think the SMG is a pretty good weapon. And uh, then we're going to build some defensive structures. Oh, yes. So let's, uh, let's get some barricades up here. So as you can see, we do have this going on here. And what I'd like to do is maybe build a little bit of a maze. And there you go. That's all I could do. There is a time limit in between the waves, and the developers are working on it a little bit. So they're, they're tuning it to make sure that, you know, everyone has enough time to build. Bear in mind that this game is best enjoyed in co-op, so, you know, do bear that in mind. And uh, there is currently a 30% off sale for the launch of the game. So if you want to check it out at a cheaper price, then you can, of course, do that. So these guys have weapons, unfortunately. I should probably switch to my SMG, shouldn't I? That would probably make the most sense. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now what we can do is I'm going to be building a turret. Let's build one there. And we probably want to build one... You know what? I'm actually just going to try and make this side the most defensible it can be. Let's get another... Let's get a concrete... Can I use this? Wow, this is pretty good. Okay, so... Ah, oh, I don't have enough funds now. Ah, oh, are you serious? Ah, oh, that's terrible. Oh, well, never mind. I ran out. Just, just when I needed it. Anyway, at least that is covered for the most part. And, uh, oh yes, we should probably also try to buy a med kit at some point as well. You can see here that on the map that you can see where the spawns of the enemy are coming in from. Hopefully my turrets are going to be able to deal with the enemies from over there because I'm a bit worried about leaving this side completely undefended. So, there we go. And we can try and do a little bit more. All right, so let's go over here and see how our turrets are doing. Absolutely fine, actually. There you go. And we got another 6,000 right there, and that will enable me to complete my barricade of my gun there. And we're going to try and get a Tesla turret as well. Now, a Tesla turret is a little bit different. As you can see, it is insanely strong, but it fires very slowly. Very useful at attacking strong enemies with lots of HP. So we're going to place that right there. And uh, there's also a Tesla gate here. I, I do need to test this out, don't I? Yeah, I do need to test that out. But right now, I'm just going to place another one of these. And we're going to place it around around here. I, oh, I can't. I don't have enough. Oh, okay, I don't have enough. Oh, well, never mind. Guess I'm just going to build some more of these then. And that's all I can do. That is all I can do. But thankfully, we have enough here. I'm going to build uh, one of these. Can I? Oh, I can't do that either. Almost. Almost. 350 currency to be able to build a medkit. And uh, I'm, I'm probably going to need one. Probably going to need one because the previous maps that I have played have only been the desert map. The uh, desert uh, gas station one? I, I, I can't actually remember what it was, but it was very, very good for sniping the enemies before they even got to you. So it was pretty good in that respect. So let's just kill that guy. Thank you very much. I'd appreciate it. Do bear in mind that these turrets have a pretty small range. So you're going to need to help your turrets a little bit to fire at the ranged units that are obviously using their wonderful, wonderful assault rifles to shoot me and everything. Ah, uh, one of the, ah, uh, there we go, one of the barricades actually did get destroyed. You can also upgrade these things. So, if I want to, I can switch to my wrench, I can repair, I can upgrade, I can do all kinds of things. There you go. And now that one is obviously going to do a lot more damage and anything else you would want it to do. So, let's craft two of these. This heals 30 HP. I actually wonder whether that's percentage-based, or whether it's just a flat value. I suppose we're going to find out. And uh, should I get a semi-automatic rifle? How much damage does it do? 
does 270 in comparison to 70. Okay, why not? Why not? We might want to do that. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, all of these other weapons, we're not going to be able to get that until we get the arsenal crate that actually contains those. So, yeah, some of you might be a little bit put off by that. But, well, it, it kind of incentivizes you to play the game and, uh, you know, get those, get those unlocks. Ah, what is that? That is a big guy. That is a big guy. All right, let's see if I can do a little bit here. Oh, this rifle is actually very good for taking these guys out. Ooh, thank you very much, Tesla Turret, as well. Our base is under attack. From where? Was it under attack from here? Yeah, it was under attack from here. Okay. There we go. All right, that was easy enough. Oh, there's another one. All right, so we're now on wave seven, and as you can see, we have some very, very large enemies on the way. Yes, there they come. I'm gonna have to try and do a little bit of long-range damage here. Oh, they destroyed one of my barricades. Are you serious? Get out of here. Thank you very much. There we are. All right. Oh, that was easy. Oh, okay. That was a very easy wave indeed. I suppose it's because I got the semi-automatic rifle. I suppose that does help quite a bit. All right, so let's put one of these Tesla gates in here because we got that and it's kind of nice to use it. And what this does is it basically just allows us to pass through otherwise um, un unenterable terrain for the, for the opponents. So yeah, there is that. Now, of course, these are called barricades for a reason. Now, for those of you that are looking for mazing and things like that, I don't think it actually works in this game. Which is a bit of a shame, I gotta say. But, well, it is a barricade. And I suppose that's what, that's what they're going for at the moment. And there are a bunch of other things, like, for example, spiked barricades. And if they were used solely for mazing, then the spiked barricades would not do anything. So, I guess that is... That is definitely the reasoning for that. I've just placed this here just so that my resources are basically spent and I know where I can get it from because you can refund buildings for about the same price that you built them for, if not the same. I haven't actually tested that out really, but we're going to try and see what's going on with that in a second. Now, if I can just aim at that fellow and take him out. Thank you. There we are. And we're also going to aim at that one. I think I can let my turrets deal with this. And I can just go over here and help out our other ones. Yep, so far I'd say that the later waves do seem pretty easy in comparison to uh, what I was facing before on the other map, so maybe it changes dependent on the map. Anyway, you can undo that, and I can gain back 2,000, as you can see, and uh, we're going to just build a whole bunch of turrets and things like that. I think blast turret here, blast turret there, and there should be pretty good. And I did attempt to build kind of a maze here, but I don't think it actually does work, so we're just going to place another blast turret over here just to support this thing right here that is currently taking a huge amount of damage. And we can actually repair this a little bit. There we go. And we can't upgrade it anymore. Let's upgrade this one. And we can also upgrade that one a little bit as well. There you go. So this side is perfectly fine when it comes to being, you know, pretty well defended. And uh, the other one, not so much. So I'm probably going to have to spend a little bit more time over there. You can also upgrade barricades as well, by the way. So if you have a particularly fantastic wall that you want to, you know, upgrade and make sure that it stays alive or stays intact in this case, then you can, of course, do that. Okay, so we have 42 enemies this time. So I'm probably going to need to use my SMG a little bit here. Oh, how are they get? Ah. Oh. Okay, so they're getting in this way. It's it's kind of a bit weird. They decided to attack the turret. I think that's absolutely fine with me, though. As long as they're attacking the turret and not attacking my home base, that is all that matters. 
So, yeah, let's see how our turrets actually do here. They seem absolutely fine. Yeah, as you can see, it seems like once you get about four turrets in the vicinity of the kind of barricade area, you should be pretty fine to leave your turrets alone and you don't really need to help out too much. Because bear in mind that every single wave, you're going to... Oh, dear. Yeah, that's an explosive guy. He's going to run in and blow up all your stuff. That happened to me multiple times on the previous map, so <laughs> you probably want to be a bit careful on that. But yeah, as I was saying, there is limited ammo. So you do have to be a bit careful with how you place your shots. And I'm going to use this med kit here just to see actually how much HP it gives us. Hmm, I think it actually gives us a whole, a whole 30%, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's build a couple more of these things. Should I build more of these things, or should I just go for more... Mm, I'm going to build a concrete barricade. How much armor does it... It has less armor? Huh. It has less armor. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of a shame. Didn't I just get the... Oh, no, it's a basic barricade. Ah, okay, so me building this around this was absolutely pointless. Great. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to build a whole bunch here. There we go. And then I'm going to build a little bit here just to make sure that they're not able to get by anymore. And, uh, yeah, now here's the thing. You cannot jump over your barricades, which I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed by, because the, you know, the fun that you could have in a game like Sanctum, for example, that really did have a pretty fun element to it. But I suppose the main reasoning for that is so that you use the Tesla gates. Because obviously right now, I don't have enough to afford a Tesla gate, so... I, I obviously can't use it, but that is probably the reasoning for that. And you probably don't want to place a Tesla gate all the way at the at the front. So it's probably my positioning that's a little bit off. Now, we have a boss. This is a new boss to me, because the last boss that I fought was a huge towering guy with a grenade launcher that was just coming at me and trying to, trying to blow me up. And uh, yeah, that was not very fun. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously we took him out. But, uh, yeah, he was, he was very, very meaning to do me bodily harm. Yes, exactly. Anyway, this guy is going to be very difficult, I think. Oh, he has a grenade launcher as well. Are you serious? Ow. Okay. Yes. Okay, now what I need to make sure of is that the boss is either facing me or facing the turrets. So that I can actually shoot him. Now, thankfully we are pretty spongy when it comes to our HP, so we don't have to worry too much about taking damage here and there. There we go. And this guy is almost dead. This guy was actually a lot better than the uh, previous boss, because the previous boss I actually had a pretty hard time against, because he actually did make it to our base. But that's because I actually didn't buy the SMG until very late, because I concentrated on building turrets. So, there you go. Now, we of course gained a huge amount of different awards here, because it's only me playing, but otherwise, there you go, you can see your stats. You can see your headshots and your kills, and I spent 66,000 on buildings. That's pretty crazy. My favorite weapon was the SMG, and so on and so forth. So let's go back to the main menu and actually see what rewards we gained. All right, so we are now level four, and we earned ourselves this crate. So let's go in to see the, see the loot crate, and hopefully we'll get something cool. Ah, oh, that's actually pretty nice. A rainbow lightning blade. Obviously, as you could see there, I didn't really use my melee that much, but in the previous map, I actually did hit them a little, because some of the time you're gonna run out of ammunition, or your, your pistol is just not gonna be enough to deal with these guys in your face, so you need to get out the blade. And otherwise, we have an arsenal crate here, so hopefully we'll get Ooh, that's nice. Very strong, but also very slow. If used correctly, this weapon can help you against the toughest of enemies. So, in other words, bosses and those big giant guys. Yeah, you definitely want to be fighting those. Anyway, if you want to check out this game, there is a link in the description. Four-player co-op FPS tower defense. If that's your thing, then why not give it a go? I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. 
For those of you that stayed until the end, there's a little bit of an easter egg, I actually did voice the trailer for this game, so if you'd like to hear what that's all about and see, then stick around. I was born into this wasteland, generations after the suns around our planet exploded. I killed everything weaker than me, and I was tortured by everything stronger. I enjoyed it, and soon, there was no one stronger. But even then, I felt that there should be something more. Then they appeared in their flying machines. Bullets rained like cleansing fire. It was beautiful. So I decided to sign up to take a stand against the apocalypse with hope, brutality with order. We are humanity's last chance. We are the band of defenders. <laughs> 